Hello everybody, welcome friends and family to Responsible Gaming and episode 159 of Ominous Designs, I'm Ominous. Still the same old, um, I haven't changed, not a single bit. Uh, guess what, what hasn't changed either is the theme of the day. We're gonna try and finish the cycle from last week. Um, I already had some uh, ideas that I wanna try um, and also, spoiler alert, I found a way to uh, complete the cycle. So, let's just do it. Let's just do it. <clears throat> so, um, if you don't remember, last week, the uh, cycle is those creatures. For example, Rithic Commando, when Rithic Commando dies, if you attack this turn and deal 3 damage to target player, boom. High Temple Guard, and when High Temple Guard dies, if you block this turn, gain four life. So when block, gain life. When attack, uh, deals damage. Uh, when they die. So I had several ideas if I wanted to um, extend the um, cycle, and there's two things. Either we take the Ragdos color. So let's say we do black now, and we say, well, that's just the same. Uh, the black cards when they're they're aggressive if they attacked. Uh, they will deal damage. That's one thing. Or, or I switch things around, which has one downside is uh, memory issues. Uh, people are going to be like, so wait, those when they attack you gain life, or when you attack you you deal damage, or when you block you deal damage, or you gain life. Bit of a mess. I think it's fine. Um, especially since, in the end, um, what it's gonna do, it's gonna be very nice to, um, to, uh, combine, actually, now that I think of it. Because, imagine, so, let's say this guy says, this guy is gonna say block. Uh, not like that, though. It's gonna say block like this. And it's gonna say, I should have... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yes. So when it blocks, it deals damage. It I, it is a little bit weird. Yeah, actually, those combine kind of funny. Because I was going to say, um, Ragdos colors, they're going to combine in the sense that um, uh, you deal a bunch of damage. And you're going to have the your attackers, they're going to attack and deal damage. And you're going to have blockers to kind of... Um, try and handle some sort of race and your blockers are going to deal damage as well The dynamic of this one when you mix uh, attack and block mm, A little effy maybe uh, If you go on Orzhov colors though pretty sweet you go in Orzhov and you have when you block you deal damage and when you block you gain life uh, Which basically means I'm just gonna be defending here and it also kind of um, um, it also kind of um, feels like um, uh, Orzov theme where you uh, drain life, you deal damage and you gain life. Um, so there is something, there is something. I think it's going to be better when you, well, no, actually the block, yeah, the block theme is, is a little more um, easy to grok, right? Because you always want to block and then Either you deal damage or you gain life. The, the the theme where it's just dealing damage and it doesn't matter if you attack or if you block, maybe a little harder to um, to figure out, but I mm, still sort of a thing. I think it's sort of a thing. Um, <clears throat> now, let's see. I am kind of tempted to do something kind of funny here. What if I had this? It is like, it is just officially a virtual 4-4 blocker, I think, right? Because like, what can you do with that otherwise? Um, I think he might even be a 4-2. Dealing 4 damage is pretty nifty though. So uh, one of the things that I wanted to look at today is potentially make a cycle of uncommons. So we're going to have a tiny bit more um, margin uh, 
in terms of um, power level. Um, let's have a quick look at what we can get for 4 mana and 4 power uh, power 4, CMC4. I'm going to go in the 4 twos and I'm going to go in black um, and let's see. I should have excluded rare, the rares maybe. So this 4-2 oh, is amazing, yes. It does plenty, plenty of things, so I'm not even going to get into it. Um, this 4-2 uh, is very weird. When you cast any player may surface creature, if it does counter Brain Gorgers, why would they? Just because madness is for 2? That is weird. You basically have a 4-2 for 4 with the downside. Blech. Um, It's a common, though. This guy is a mercenary. This guy, you draw X card in the X life where X and number of creature cards in the entire graveyard. It's pretty good. Uh, is there some that are known that are. Yes, I remember this guy. Whenever any one of your creatures in the battlefield, uh, the opponents get minus one, minus one. Uh, that's pretty sick. Um, I have an oval chase daredevil. I heard about it. I didn't play all that much of Kaladesh. Apart from the pre-release, whenever an artifact entered the battlefield under your control, you may return uh, to your hand. That's pretty good. This guy, each player sacrifices a creature, which is you definitely need to build around this. And then you get this guy that's sort of kind of maybe fine. This one kind of maybe fine. And a wither. And those are all uh, commons. So basically, there's the oval chase, the sure shot. Yeah, um, it makes me feel like we might be just about where we need to be uh, because 4 damage is pretty sweet, but let's switch. Um, 4 damage is pretty sweet, but it's also it just makes it so that you have your 4 2 that doesn't particularly want to attack because it attacks pretty, pretty darn poorly. So you have your virtual defender 4 4 um, that deals 4 damage when it dies. I think we might just about be where we want to be um <clears throat> so one of the reasons i'm pushing the four mana four two is we're going to move on to the green one and um if need be we're going to go back to the black one see if we can kind of balance them against each other this time which i remember i was really tempted to do last week but i didn't do in the end uh but still i i, I think it's kind of interesting um um Hmm. Now, the one thing I'm, I'm wondering is this attacks, so it deals damage um, the same as it uh, is the same as its own attack. This defends blocks, and you gain life equals to the block, uh, the toughness, um, which makes sense. It's kind of it makes you understand that it doubles um, its uh, double efficiency. Now, the problem here is you. What do we want to do? It this when it attacks would deal four damage, and um, now it deals four damage as well. But it's when it blocks. So there is a prob There is kind of a tension here. Is that it's less logical what happens um, over there? It used to be I block and I gain life. I attack and I deal damage. Over here it's more like I block and I deal damage, um, and obviously so that makes less it makes less sense and it it is yeah it, it's less elegant it, elegant it's it's not as obvious and it did make me wonder well for four damage should it be a two four should it be a four two um i'm not sure the good thing here is like this I, this looks weird because it blocks well, but it deals damage, and I, th I, I don't really like the feel of this. Whereas this guy is a card that kind of tells you, I am kind of weird actually from the beginning because I'm a big power, a low toughness that is actually better suited to block big guys, and when I block, I, I like I have a punch. To block with and i'm also gonna deal damage it makes more sense dealing damage with your toughness 
it's not really a thing, right? It's 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 harder to 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 gra to grasp, I think. So so, anyways, uh, let's try and see uh, what the um, green one would be. So for the green run, I have something pretty specific in mind. I think this should just be like this: a three four and and it says this. So. Um, I think this this is definitely a comment that can exist. Um, I think it is very good, um, but it is based on. Um, so last time I forgot the name. Is it Flare? Oh, no, uh, that's not how it's spelled. Uh, Flare over here, gatherer. Um, yes, Salta Flare. Um, this card was amazing. Uh, it's a three four. Whenever a creature you control with toughness 4 or greater dies, you gain 4 life, which means this guy, when he dies, gains you 4 life. Um, and um, and all of your other dudes with a, with a big butt gets you life as well. Um, it was absolutely amazing, though. Um, I, I Actually, I think we, used, we kind of used this as a comparison point for the High Temple last week, um, which actually sort of makes me wonder... Um, if I should, um, if I should be slight, if I should have a slightly different card, then um, let's see. So I have an idea. Well, because the problem is here, Flayer was amazing, but it did exist, and this is uh, inferior in two different separate points. Not on, not even only one. You gain only four life for this guy and nobody else, and he needs to have attacked. Uh, and the need to have attacked is not nothing, uh, especially for a card that's valuable. Uh, it's big, so it's easier. But either way, I'm thinking, what about this? This, this, and this. Um, and it's kind of fun. So what I think uh, about when I think uh, 4, 5, 4, 5, that is good if I remember well, let's just do it's Nespian Nespian is it Nespian? It can be called like this. It's uh, Tespian? No, Tespian stage. Asp. Is it? It's not an asp. Oh, it is an asp. <laughs> Got super confused. Um, asp. Yeah, not to confuse with wasp, which I think might have confused me for a second. Nissian Asp. Nissian Asp. Hard to say. This buddy reaches and has monstrosity. Boy, oh boy. Hmm. So, basically, what I think happens here is if I want to make sure it is good, five life is really not nothing, though. But if I. Mm. If I want to make sure um, it's good, I can give him Trample, for example. Um, this reminds me of one thing. There is a Kaladesh card that gains you 5 life, I think. And it's, it's pretty good, but um, I only, only know it's pretty good from the pre-release. I don't know um, if uh, it is a limited staple at all. Um, Kaladesh? Really? <clears throat> well, gain life, not gains life. Um, trample five four when it does about here you gain five life. <sighs> Magic these days sets the bar pretty freaking high. So. Okay, so let's see how much we want to push this. For one thing, I said this made sense somewhat that I gain life equals to the power. Which, if I wanted to mirror this, would mean that I would gain life equal to the toughness here. Um, which, why not? Now, I'm saying 4-5 uh, like this is way inferior to our buddy here that is a 5-4 trampler 
and gains you life no matter what when it enters the battlefield, not even later. Um, so I'm switching, I'm switching too much. I'm kind of getting lost here. Um, yeah. So what? So we do like a four six and gain six life. It's it's kind of a lame way of pushing the card, but um, it is nasty. It's a little nasty. How about hey? How about maybe this? That way we kind of throw the doubt. We at the at the same time confuse and unconfuse the people. We're like, wait, I'm gaining life based on attack toughness. What does it mean? Does it make sense? Five five. You gain life based on whichever you think makes sense. Um, it is not a five four, but it doesn't trample. <clears throat> but a five five for five with upside is pretty nice. Somehow I feel like this could still maybe no maybe not be a common. Five five for five gain five life. That should be fine, right? I mean, I, I guess I guess my the the thing that bothers me is I'm cons I'm comparing this with like a four five reach that transforms into a what was it the the Nissian Asp like into something ridiculous and I'm comparing this to a five four trample that can do five life right away. So the bar is so freaking high. Um, the Nissian Asp transformed well for seven, yeah, but it's four five reach. And which is already already amazing, and it transformed into an eight nine, which is just gross. Um, so a mere five five for five that gives you five life, quite possibly, um, is not too bad. It's got to be not too bad. And I didn't put a double green in there, um, which doesn't matter all that much because you're not gonna splash this. Um, so the other thing that I could do is, uh, if I did double green, how does that look? So that looks like, well, that looks like an inf a way inferior, but well, I guess I could, uh, so the problem is I could put reach or something. Trample is, I guess also potentially a thing. Um, because a four-five trampler might actually be better than a five-four trampler. I think it is better than a five-four than um than a five-four trampler, isn't it? Yeah. Um. So now we get a card that's potentially better than our previous friend uh, that we were kind of jealous of. Um, over here the air. Arbor back stumper, arbor arbor back arbor, yeah this guy. Um, I, yeah I, I guess I don't know how limited playable he is. I mean obviously I, I've been way happy to play him, especially in a um, in a sealed uh, to a the giant deck, but I don't know if the consensus is it's boring or if it's great or whatever. Um, is at the mere minimum solid. I mean, this is this is great fun to to have a five four trampler and gain five life. Um, so I don't know. Um, I think I would try it, but it does seem very powerful to me. Um, meh. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? We'll see. We'll see the knowledgeable people um, chiming with their uh, estimated power level. Um, this one, this one is potentially disappointing. Um, I guess. Um, I don't know what would that look like if I want, if I want to try and s uh, do a, some sort of symmetry here. Um, still pretty darn boring. And if I want to s the exact symmetry, uh, we get a. 5-4 five, four, five, four is, is kind of ridiculous for black, isn't it? 5-4 um, in black deals 5 damage <laughs> if it blocked. If it blocked. But 5 is huge. Like a, like a lava axe. Not cool. Not cool. 
Um, so whatever. Uh, I do think like this one is quite possibly the boring, the most boring, and it might even be the worst. That being said, four four defender for three and a black uh, deals four damage when he dies. Can't really call that bad, can you? I mean, I guess you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't think it's well. If you really need to block, you're not gonna block much. You, I mean, you're gonna block a four four, I suppose. But then you're gonna deal damage, but you need to block, so whatever. Like a a three four is probably much better, even if it doesn't deal damage when you really need to block. But you have to imagine playing this. Maybe in the Ragdos decks, it's good. You know, you have your four two on the on the swing back, and. I don't really know how that would work. You would need a race, basically. You would need to attack all in, and then your opponent goes like, haha, I'm gonna attack back, and you go like, well, I have a 4-2 that can deal you 4 damage if you attack into it, something like that. So it's it's pretty, it's kind of awkward, but I don't know. I, I do feel like this one would probably be the most awkward to play, but I, I kind of want to see how exactly um, that would be. Um, the other, if I wanted to make it more vanilla, I could do something like that. Um, now we have a 3 2 for 3, and it's gonna deal damage when it is on the defending, on the defense. Um, too boring. I, I, I think it's possibly a better card, but I want to push the envelope for change. Um, that's what I'm doing these days. I want, I want to try something more extreme and see what people think. Now, we're gonna proceed. We're gonna proceed and we're gonna do blue card. Uh, do I copy something? Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Our blue card, blue. Our blue card, I think, so I want, I want it to be a rare, um, just because actually the ability I think is probably uh, better as a rare and, um, um, and what? Uh, and also we did a two common, two uncommons. Why not do a rare, right? That makes total sense. Um, so the ID, uh, I think I'm, I'm actually gonna copy because um, there's a bunch of templating things that are ready to go. So um, I thinking this might be flying uh, when no, 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 no. Um, so basically, um, I want to do something like this. Draw a card unless it. So if it didn't, unless it attacked. Yeah, that's the sperm. Um, wait, what does it do? So if you do, unless it attacked. Or blocked this turn. So your opponent now needs to wait for you to attack, kills it, and it's fine. Um, so that doesn't quite work. Um, it doesn't work with instant speed removal. So my idea after that was unless uh, it dealt damage this turn. Um, combat damage. In this case, your opponent needs to take a hit before it kills it uh, without you drawing a card. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. Um, now, what type of body can we have with an ability like this? I don't know for a fact. If we were really making a rare, I feel like drawing one card on a flyer is not good enough. Um, so we probably need something more splashy um, so we can we probably need to draw two cards um, because a creature that just cycles uh, within the good conditions even if it's got a big body it's just not splashy enough I don't think um, so <clears throat> four or five flyers are some kind of weird elementals potentially um, For six, a four-five flyer. 
Fallout Light for six is is considered lackluster-ish, I guess. It's better than if it cost seven, obviously. Um, what kind of things do we have in our uh, recent history? Um, this should probably be a Sphinx because traditionally, well, let's look at Sphinxes, I guess. Um, subtypes, Sphinx, nope. Um, Almoret is a 5 5 flyer for 7. Uh, can cast spells with the chosen name. Uh, Argent Sphinx, it's not recent. Uh, let's look at the recent cards if we can. The Guardian of Tazim is a 4 5 flyer for 5 with landfall, tap, and if it's an island, doesn't untap. Uh, sick. Um, which kind of makes me start to lean towards maybe we can do exactly that kind of buddy uh, because our ability is not that fantastic. I mean, what it means is um, you need to let your opponent uh, attack or block before you destroy that creature. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna draw. He's gonna draw two cards. So I really don't think I don't think it's the end of the world. Um, yeah. So I think I convinced myself. Um, that's actually that's not that far from where we were. <laughs> it's it used to be for six, and we're considering doing it for five. So not the biggest deal. Um, can I look at the CMC five sphinxes only? Two five four five uh, three six, but there's plenty of colors, and that's old. Four four flyer, three five flyer, four four flyer, three five. Okay. Uh, super cool. So, why not? I think why not. Um, four five four. Um, this, and uh, I think it's funny because often I'm against uh, using double blue to um to you know, bump up the mana costs uh, without too many consideration, like just as a, an easy uh, way out. But I actually really like Sphinxes to be really blue because they're just, they just feel really blue and you don't really want um, a Sphinx getting splashed. It's fine, but don't particularly love that. Um, so there you go. You get your four, five flyer for five, which is amazing and if your opponent doesn't let it at least deal damage to uh, him or one of his creature first, uh, you're gonna draw two cards to replace him uh, when they get rid of it, which is sweet. And 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 in all fairness, is not that easy for you to take advantage of in at the end of the day, uh, because the only way they're really screwed in is when they only have sorcery speed removal like if they only have sorcery speed removal bad news uh, but they get they lose a card uh, they lose a card you gain two cards and you spend one card wait a minute that's a one for one that's a that's a one for one you sp you spend one you gain two so that would be a two for one but Oh no no, and you made it. You made them spend the card, so that's a three for one. So that's kind of sick, but there there are situations limited where your opponents draw two cards, and it's not the end of the world. Like um, Treasure Cruise was played, and it was very good, but like you can pl you could play it in limited. Like it's it was it was tolerable, uh, and that's a rare. The fact that it combines with a four five flyer. All right, it's pretty nifty, um, but I like it. I think it's cool, and uh, it kind of it kind of resonates fine with the with the other cards. It just says, "Hey, I'm the blue guy. I don't care about your crap about attacking or blocking. I'm on draw cards, and that's only if I basically if I didn't do any of this attacking or blocking business of yours." Um, so I like it. I think it's cool. You think it's cool? I think it's cool. And that wraps it for the cycle. That's it. Um, I, when we were discussing this, I started thinking maybe we could do, um, uh, 
uh, two color cards that would combine some of those things. Who knows? Um, if I'm really out of ideas, I might look at that um, next week. But otherwise, we'll we'll move on to something else. Is all uh, tomorrow the article, the postings, the twitters, the facebooks, um, the YouTube video, everything. Um, yeah, do do follow and and leave your comments on any of those outlets, including Reddit slash Custom Magic. Um, I used to have, uh, it's been a while I haven't said that, I used to have a background over, over here that also includes Reddit. I think it just got lost completely, so I need to redo it, so apologies. Uh, but I shall see you next week. I also need to find a way to record the episode in advance because I don't think I will be able most of next week, so we'll see. Surprise, surprise. Maybe we'll skip a week, but I'll, I'll try not to do that. And pre-release, um, how's it called? Ether Revolt. I'm probably going to attend it, but I have not been uh, keeping uh, up with uh, the state of magic these days and uh, the cards and the spoilers, not, not very much at all. So that'll be a good surprise. I'll tell you all about it. And I hope you enjoy yours. Okay. Um, so see you next week. Thanks for watching and play responsibly. <laughs>